This is Lynn Gibney with AccuQuilt. Today I'm going to walk you through how to upload recycled or upcycled fabrics into GoQuilt and then create a fantastic new project with those fabrics. So before we get started today, I am going to show you what I'm working on. So here are four shirts that my husband no longer wants or needs. And so I'm going to take these, these fantastic shirts and we're going to uh, we're going to scan in swatches of these and I'm going to make a cute little wall hanging out of those. So here we go. Here's the, we're going to start on the homepage of AccuQuilt. I'm going to have you click on the GoQuilt uh, link here in the top navigation, which will bring you to the GoQuilt homepage. And the first thing you want to do is sign in. So if you don't have an account with AccuQuilt.com or with GoQuilt, go ahead, follow those steps and get an account signed up. And once you do that, here we are, we're all logged in. You can see a couple of projects I have here that I'm already working on. And before we get started designing the, the fun part, let's, let's first go to my stash. And we're gonna click in here and you can see in my stash, I've already selected some of the wonderful fabrics from our fabric collection. I've got some Dear Stella, Island Batik, some fabulous Moda Fabrics Grunge, my favorite. So, uh, what we're going to do to add our own fabrics, I don't know if everybody knew that you could do that. It's it's such a great uh, tool for scanning in your stash fabrics or upcycled or recycled fabrics and organizing those so that you can you can use them to design and go quilt. So if you click on the add fabric button and then from my computer, I've got here are my swatches that I've already scanned in from those wonderful shirts. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add all four of those here real quick. We've got some flamingo fabric and a couple of different pinks. So I think this is going to make a really sweet ball hanging. What a great use for some cotton shirts. All right, so that's great. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select a project. So we're going to go back to the Go Quilt um, homepage here and uh, we're going to click on create a new project. So from here, the project that I've already selected is going to be this front door barn quilt. It's just a cute little 20 inch by 20 inch wall hanging. All right, and it's four colors, so it's perfect for my, my little fabric collection. And uh, okay, so let's, let's have some fun here. Let's start selecting fabric. So I'm gonna come down to my stash because that's where we we saved those fabrics earlier and it's super easy and you can change these if you don't like something you can you can switch them around it's 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 very user friendly so i'm going to then i think i'm going to choose the light pink and finally last but not least we'll choose that cool chevron fabric oh that is just gorgeous i love that i'm going to go ahead and save that project all right and so i'm ready to get started working on this so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to print and um, view my instructions. So doesn't that look great? Look at this. This is the only program out there that provides you with a full pattern and it's free. So isn't that great too? Um, so you've got a picture of your project. It has the fabric list, all the dyes used, your cutting instructions, and then your sewing instructions down below. So uh, all of this is Free to use. I think it is just a wonderful way to use your upcycled or recycled fabrics with GoQuilt. At AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.